and in the previous topic we discussed about if statement let's see about if else now in case of if statement okay in case of if statement we'll see what is the drawback we had we had written a program there to check whether the given number is even or odd so to do that we gave there as an if we checked whether the number mod by 2 is equals to 0 if it is equals to 0 then we gave there as an printf as even number same way we took one more if statement and checked number mod by 2 is not equals to 0 and then printf as odd now two times we are checking this condition number mod by 2 is equals to 0 and number mod by 2 is not equals to 0 if this first condition is true there's no possibility that the second condition need to be checked it will be true at all if the first condition is true never the second condition will be true then why we are checking this so if I give here n value is equals to 24 24 mod by 2 is equals to 0 this condition is true then comes down and display here as an even then when it has already displayed as an even there's no point in once again checking whether 25 mod by 2 is not equals to 0 this will be always going to be if this is true then naturally the second will be always false so no need of checking once again this second condition this can be avoided when you go for an if else okay there are two parts in case of if else that is if you give a condition condition and then set of statements okay, set of statements if this condition is true it will execute the set of statements and there's an else part else part again in the else part you have your set of statements so that means there are two sets here one is a true set and second one is a false set now if this condition is true it will execute this true part it will execute this true part and then from here directly jumps to outside that if statement that means it will execute this if this condition is false first it will jump to the else part first it will jump to the else part execute the else part and then continue the code that means in both the cases if it is true also you have a jump if it is false also you have an jump if it is true execute this true part doesn't execute the else part either this true part or else part will get executed fine I'll take an example that is to to check whether the given number is even or odd so I need to accept a number for that I'll declare an n variable accept that number scanf percentage d ampersand of n and now I'll check here the condition if n mod by 2 is equals to 0 if n mod by 2 is equals to 0 then printf given number is even if this condition is false naturally it's going to be an odd so I'll take care I'll not check one second the condition only in else part I'll display that as an odd value given number is odd and then close this so if this is true it will execute this printf but it will not execute this else part if it is false then it will execute the else part but doesn't execute the true part that means either this printf or this printf will get executed that means you have both your true part and false part in such a cases you need to use an if else We'll run this program and then see what will be the output. Program to check given number is even or odd. We are accepting a number here. 
and using in scanf and then check here if this n mod by 2 is equals to 0 okay if it is equals to 0 then it is an even number printf slash n given number is even given number is even else printf slash n given number is odd so either the first that is if part will get executed or else the else part but not both we'll build this run the code so i'll give here 25 it will display a given number is odd that is 25 here mod by 2 is equals to 0 this condition is false because it is false it goes to the else part and display a given number is odd the same thing if i had given the number as 12 so 12 mod by 2 is equals to 0 so the first it is untrue the condition is going to be a true if it is true then it will display a given number is even either true part will get executed or else false part will get executed